Hi Scorpio, this is Aquila for your monthly reading for the month of April 2015. So, we have on the 4th Scorpio, a full moon and a lunar eclipse happening in your 12th house of undoing and secrets and karma. And basically the way that um, you get in the way of yourself, Scorpio. So this full moon happening on the 4th and a lunar eclipse is a really big event happening at the beginning of the month of April. This is definitely about letting go of attachments. Um, letting go of things that don't really serve you anymore. This this lunar eclipse is definitely going to set the stage for things. And this is not anything new. This is something that um, has been going on since September 2012. Uh, excuse me, September 2014 of last year. Excuse me. So this is letting go of something. Freeing yourself. An aha moment. Really realizing certain things that are not working for you. And really letting them go. But. Along with this letting go, there will be a little bit of sadness for some of you out there. But along with this letting go, there's going to be a liberation, Scorpio, of yourself. A liberation um, from whatever it is that was holding you back. And this is going to help with that energy as well. So this is this is going to be good for you, um, this eclipse, uh, especially happening in your um, 12th house of undoing. On the 8th, we have Jupiter, the planet of luck. And generosity generosity and expansion going direct in your 10th house of career and reputation the way you view yourself the way you see yourself um your goals um what is it that you want so this planet was retrograding um it retrograded in december of last year and it's going to be going direct on the 8th so this is going to be helping you with your career this is going to be helping you with your self image and the way you feel about yourself, the way you look at yourself, Scorpio. So this is going to be a really good um, a good transit for you as well. So the first card that I got for you for this month is Experiencing. Now, this is a fire card. This is basically a card that's symbolizing Scorpio for you. It's basically about embracing change, Scorpio. And basically having long-term views on certain things. It's creating more opportunities for yourself. Experiencing different things. Um, basically thinking big. Think big, Scorpio, about what you want and what you need. Basically, it, it can also speak of traveling. Uh, traveling somewhere or learning something new new ideas are coming to you and you're experiencing different things so this is going to be good and also being in that experiencing enjoying it and learning from it as well we have on the 11th we have venus the planet of love and money and pleasure going into your eighth house now scorpio you rule the eighth house in um astrology scorpio is a sign that dominates over that it's a sign that controls it that house has to deal with your partner's money, um, other people's money, your in-laws, debts, taxes, death, sex, and rebirth. Basically all the taboo subjects that people don't like to talk about. That's the, um, the house that you rule. And Venus, the planet of love and money and pleasure is going into that house for you. So this is going to be giving you either you're going to be enjoying the pleasures of certain things in regards to the eighth house with your partner's money um, or or your in-laws, uh, it can be in rebirth in certain things, feeling uh, rejuvenated around that area um, of your life as well. On the 14th, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your seventh house of partnership. So communication. Communication is going to be uh, a focus for you. Uh, with Mercury going there, you're going to be vocalizing it. Communication is going to be a focus for you on the 14th onward of April. Once it gets you to the middle of the month. Um, so your partnerships, business partnerships, relationships, uh, any type of partnership that you have in your life, Scorpio, you're going to be focusing your communication on that. You're going to be focusing on that. Um, so this is this is uh, pretty good for you. So think about that uh, when the month comes around the 14th, okay? Then we have the second card, the mind card. So this card is a little bit misleading, it's new ideas though, Scorpio. It's communication. It's messaging of some sort coming to you. It's truths about something. Uh, you're thinking about something logically. Um, inquiring. You're, you're, you're dealing with things where you're inquiring about things. You're delegating things uh, mentally. Uh, delegating matters. It's delicate matters as well. It's, um, it's cutting out negative Cutting out negative thought, cutting out um, negative mindset. It's also a lot is going on 
a lot is going on in your mind. A lot of things and ideas and things that you that you're trying to implement is happening with this card that I got for you with the mind card. So it's a mental it's a mental thing right now happening with you as well. Especially with um Pluto, your ruling planet going retrograde on the 16th of this month. Now, your ruling planet is going to go retrograde in your third house of communication. So, Pluto going retrograde is anytime your ruling planet retrogrades, it's a reflective time for you. It's a time to kind of understand what's happening, especially with the communication that you're having. Communication with um, your family, uh, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, um, communication with your neighbors, uh, your day-to-day -day, uh, your day-to-day -day travel too. So it's retrograding. So there's gonna your communication is gonna be more on you're thinking more mentally right now with the way you're communicating with uh, certain uh, people or things regarding the third house of um, your chart. On the 18th, Scorpio, we have a new moon in your sixth house of health and self service. So how you make yourself useful, what you do for work, your health regimes, what you're doing with health, how it is that you're going about your health and um, taking things. Um, with that so the new moon is going to be basically saying that there's going to be new ideas new ways of thinking a, a, a new job a new beginning uh, with the sixth house it does control the work that you do so it is going to be implementing that there may be a new job a new beginning a new start or something around the um towards the 18th onward so that's good for all the scorpios out there that are probably trying to get um some type of a uh, job this is good this is good for you on the 20th we have the sun entering also into your seventh house of partnership a lot of focus here with your partnerships this is going to be illuminating that sector with the sun coming in here so you have mercury already the planet of communication in your seventh house so the way you're communicating with your partners with the people that you have partnerships with business wise or personal it doesn't matter you're going to be communicating a lot this is going to be this is going to be good then the sun illuminating that bringing more focus into that area bringing more um energy into your partnerships uh more drive basically the sun gives that push um and then i got the third card for you is god guidance excuse me so this is a pentacles card this is definitely a card about your finances because we don't want to forget that also saturn is still in your second house of possessions it's retrograding right now so your money, your money, your possessions, things you own, things you value. With with the Saturn retrograding, it's kind of uh, holding up some stuff, but uh, this is this is okay. It's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go direct, and when it does, everything will flow a lot better in regards to that. Um, so that's really good. But at the same time, too, we have Jupiter going direct in your tenth house and your reputation. So that could be too that you're reflecting on it. But you're also initiating change with that, expanding it to make it bigger and brighter for you to have more um, more opportunities. And with the guidance card, it's basically about using your talents to benefit you. It's about basically teamwork and collaborating with someone, getting feedback on certain things, um, getting somebody else's input in something. If you want to do something, getting a professional input or someone giving you some type of direction or path in in regards to which way you're going here then we have on the 30th um mercury the planet of communication is going into your eighth house so we have focuses on your eighth house communication between your partners your partner's money your in-laws debts taxes sex death um rebirth you're gonna it's a house of transformation it's your house. It's your house of transformation. So transforming you from the inside out, not the same way that Saturn does. Saturn is a planet of discipline. Um, Mercury going into your eighth house is about communication in that area for you. Communication with um, this area. Taking You already have Venus there. So there's love there. There's harmony there. There's pleasure there. There's some, some, some good energy there. And then you have communication coming in with uh, Mercury. So it's about, this month is more so about partnerships, uh, focusing on that and more so changing patterns that self-destruct you, letting go of it, blah, deading it, not having it around you anymore. So 
letting it go and liberating you, Scorpio. So this is good. So Scorpio, I'm Aquila and this is your reading for April.